Hello, I'm Andrew Lizzie and welcome back to War of for X. So, we left off last time with uh, winning our battle in 61 Sig... Signy? Signy. Uh, so, we're gonna just leave, I guess. Uh, we can't really finish off the battle as I'd like, sadly, because, uh, well, we're out of ammo, for perfectly frank. We've reached the end of our logistical operational budget for today, and we're going to head home. We're going to rearm. It's probably going to take a little while since we're actually out of uh, missiles in the Empire. That's a problem. And, uh, well, we'll just do that, sit around for a few years while we get the armor back, and then come back and finish this place off. You know, bit of cleaning, bit of sprucing it up, you know, same old, same old. So we're going to do that now. Hopefully the orders I have given them are going to stick. Resonance 20 and Resonance 14 unable to locate target. Uh, I believe that is because those two survivors are from... Sadly, from a destroyed craft. Uh, they, I believe, had... Was it the Shoals? Yeah, they were part of the Shoals. And unfortunately, the Shoals is no longer valid because it is, um... Well, it's not there. So, what were you? The... Resonance 12 and 14, which I believe are part of the Strike Goop... A Shoal Strike Group or something like that? That said, I cannot see them on the list. Hmm. Oh, I'm going to give these guys orders to follow along. Move all task groups. Um... Join. In fact, get them to just join up straight away. Join. Join. One of these craft, I believe, basically cannot move. It's got like a one kilometer per second speed. Which is, well, in real life, very fast. In space, not so fast. Uh, and that's because it's got no engines. Got no engines. You can still move in this game, but you move at like that speed rather than zero. I assume because zero would cause some problems or something. Uh, with some of the internal logistics. Wrong one. There we go. And join. There we go. You're giving orders to a task group with minimum speed of one or less. This may take a while to complete. Uh, I think we might actually just abandon the Resonance 18, but I'm not sure it appears as an abandonable ship. It does, it does, it does, right. Resonance 18. I would like to... Uh, damage control. Yeah, both of our engines are out. Abandon ship. Okay. So if we select the... Life pods. I would like you to rescue life pods from basically everything you can. Unable to locate target, unable to locate target. Um, are you really meant to be doing that still? I did check that you're... You're not appearing in my list of fleets. Normally appear here as a strike group. Honestly, it's a little bit of a mess when you're trying to work with fighters. Uh, or at least I find it to be. Find the Shoals class. Uh, you all seem to be fine. You don't. Now I'm confused. 20 and 14 are on the Joe. But you guys are assigned to the Shoals. And your location is apparently the Shoals. Except for the fact that the Shoals is dead? Uh, what? The Joe Greco strike group, however. Uh, are assigned to the Joe Greco. But two of them are aboard the Joe. And a lot of them are out of ordnance? I am so confused right now. I have no idea what's going on. Those guys are reloaded. Those guys... Two of them are aboard the Joe and are complaining that they can't find their target. You know what? Just... Recover. I don't care. 
launch, and recover. Several of them can't recover. An up to locate target cannot dock the same ship if it's not in the same location. Um, unable to locate target. What? I'm so confused right now because apparently uh, most of our craft, like the 20 from the shoals, are apparently landed on the shoals, but the shoals doesn't exist anymore because it's destroyed. I. <sighs> our craft work in mysterious ways. The Shoals is dead, right? Like, I am not just imagining this. It did... It did die. Yeah, there it is. It's the Shoals 2. Okay, so the Shoals 3 is intact. Ah, yes, because it's up, it's up here our wrecks are. And it must be the Joe we lost. It was the Joe Greco. Right, that makes sense. We lost two 40 packs. Oh no, we didn't lose anyone. It was one of our guys got really bad at damage. Sorry, I'm just imagining things today. Let me go find our carriers. They're up here because they are massive. Damage control. Hangar deck. There we go. Uh, maintenance supplies. Do we not enough to do the... The jump drive? Hmm. Uh, shells. Jump drive you got there. Hangar deck. Yeah, they're having problems landing because of the hangar deck's broken down. Somewhat understandable, at least. I'll give them that. Uh, ooh, how are we going to solve this? I guess we just launch the fighters? I mean, you're all on the shells, despite the fact we don't really have room on the shells. Uh, I guess I'll just launch you. Oh, I have to select the goddamn... I don't understand. Like, I have to select it here, and I have to select it here? It's just it's so confusing. Current fleet. Okay. Still trying to locate target and failing. Joe Greco strike group. Joe Greco... I have absolutely no idea what's going on here right now. They don't appear in my fleet here. Where are they? Twenty and fourteen. Twenty and fourteen. Where are you, twenty and fourteen? Twenty. Centers collecting map on fleet. Yeah, I don't want the galactic map centered on fleet. Okay, no idea where you are. No idea. Can I, like, remove your parasite setting? No survivors, cargo, ground units. Mothership, none assigned. I'm going to set you to none, maybe? That would help. They've got an order, but they are unable to carry out because they don't know where it is. Oh, there we go. The Joe Creek Strike Group. Right, yes. Um, but you don't have a target. Land on specified mama ship. Okay. Failing. Error 9, error... Okay, many errors. Um, just join. I don't I don't know anymore. Just join. Do it. Still unable to. Okay, you know what? I've got a better solution. This is what you get for making your Supreme Commander have to fiddle about trying to solve your issues. You get ejected into space. No. No, I'm tired of your crap. 
That fixed the issue. When in doubt, blow it up. It's a pretty, pretty solid idea, frankly. Joe Greco has completed orders. Sweet. And we should have the Joe, yeah, up here. Okay. Um, life pods. We should have 14 and 20. There we go. Uh, I would like to rescue survivors. And I would like to rescue survivors. And then we're going to spend about an hour rescuing survivors. It might be a bit more than that. Our speed still significantly slower than normal. There we go. Praying some hand decks. Um, fleet completed orders. Blah, blah, blah. I guess we just do a standard transition back and hopefully we'll repair our jump drives. Right. I would like you to standard transit. Standard transit. Earth. Refuel. Resupply. Load ordnance and colony. And then we're probably going to have to do just repairs to it, like everybody. Uh, we'll begin an overhaul as well, and then once the overhaul's done, we'll do some repairs. There we go, we successfully prepared a jump drive, that means we can now exit the system. Huzzah! Problem solved. Residents have run out of fuel, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I forgot that would be an issue. Wish you could set to, like, constantly refuel. There we go, equalize fuel. Um, are these guys on board at the moment? I'm not even sure. Let's check. Location, location, yep. Yeah. These guys aren't on board. Right, yeah. So if you could land on the Joe Greco. There we go. Lovely. And if we could have a quick look at damage control for the Joe and the Shoals, because those are going to be our tickets out here. Particularly the fact that the Joe is quite badly damaged in terms of its engines being down. So if we could repair those engines, begin damage control, add to Q. Oh, for God's sake. I had it selected. There we go, let's move on with that. Resonance repaired armor damage using supplies from mother ship. Okay, that's useful. There we go, we finally got another engine working. And Joe is complaining about uh, lack of supplies. Can we like replenish supplies for one ship from the rest of the fleet? So like, specifically be like, we want all of our supplies over here. Um, ordnance management, manual transfer fuel, manual maintenance transfer, there we go. Ah, uh, the shawls can transfer. Uh, oh, wrong one. Transfer. From. There we go. We now have maintenance supplies. There we go. Loads. So we should be able to repair. No repairs? Has it cancelled it? We shouldn't have done. Oh, it's cancelled one. It's got the other one sitting there. Begin damage control. I would like to get to proper speed so we can actually jump the system away. There we go. We're up to three quarter speed. We're up to full speed. Sweet. We'll be leaving this system in style. With less fighter bombers, almost no ordnance. In fact, I think we actually are on basically no ordnance, apart from fighter bombers. Um, I mean, we could continue fighting actually. Our fighter bombers have ammo. But just in case that they've actually got ships who can damage us. We know they've got Heimdall and Loki. 
I will pass. Okay, let's let's go for it. Proper full exit day. Oh god, life support failures, no crew members have died. On board the Resonance? Really? Why are they getting, like, life support failure? Oh, because we don't have enough crew quarters anymore because they got damaged? That might make sense. We should probably get back to Earth pretty quick. Mineral shortage, gelasite, neutronium, neutronium. We need more minerals as well. We are desperately need more minerals. So we're going to start opening up some new corridors to uh, other star systems. And you might think, well, this is a little bit, this is a little bit, you know, premature Elysium. You only got back from a fight that you didn't even, like, fully win. Um, and we have, like, no fleet right now. Our fleet needs to, you know, repair. It's going to take ages to repair with the mineral shortage. But frankly, I think we've explained expanding way too slowly. So we're going to expand here, here, and here. I'm going to start issuing some orders. So let's put it on the second screen and let us pull up this. I believe we have some GEVs who are Darkon class. Oh, two of them are Darkon class, two of them aren't. And I believe you are Darkon class and you are Darkon class mark two. Interesting. Very widespread there. Okay. I would like you to, Earth, refuel, resupply. Then I would like you to go to Proxima Centauri. And then I would like to go through the unknown jump point. Stand in transit. Shipyard. I would like you to split off these GEVs. In fact, no, just the Jazza and the Seambury. Jazza, Seambury, there we go. Because those are the Mark IIs. Split. Uh, in fact, I actually should have gone for Detach. 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 Let's get rid of task group two. There we go. Delete. All right. Uh, it was the Seabri. Right, Simbri, I would like you to go to Epsilon Indy and jump from there. So if you wouldn't mind going Earth, refuel, resupply, jump to Alpha Centauri, and then Epsilon. And from here on, I would like a survey next five system bodies. If your fuel gets less than 50%, then I would like you to refuel at nearest colony or tanker. I don't need to care about maintenance and supplies. You're fine. And I'll probably give the same orders to Isaac. 30%, that's fine. If I might want to put the Simbri on 30%, 50%, it's got a lot of fuel. And then the Jazza. Uh, next five system bodies. Fuel. Refuel. And I would like you to go to Proxima. Ross. And then we're going to go through jump point one. Oh yeah, we still got a lot of jump points in that system. Sadly, we don't have enough GSVs. At least not who are ready and overhauled and ready to go. Um... I mean GVs. GSVs, on the other hand. Actives on. I'm going to start sending some out. We have enough to go send one to each place, so I'm tempted to do that. Divide. Split. I'm going to go for divide. Why do I need to send them here? Ah, right, select none. Divide. There we go. Uh, GSV. I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna leave this formation empty. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it empty so I don't attach anyone else to it. Right, let's get you all going. So, let us put near three system locations. Fuel when less than 40%. You've got less fuel. And, uh. 
maintenance supplies. Yeah, we'll probably do maintenance supplies as well. Resupply at colony or supply ship. Now I'd like you to go to Barnard Star. In fact, that's the one place we can't go. Proxima, jump point two. Kvalen. You want to go to Alpha Centauri. It's on jump point two. Proxima. Ross. Jump point one. Proxima. Ross. Jump point three. Proxima, Ross, jump point four. Proxima, Ross, jump point five. And then to do all this tedious knickknackery. Nicknackery, that's, that's, well, at least a new term I've come up with. I think what I'll do is I'll set these orders and I'll come back to you in a minute so you don't have to see me go through all of these tedious orders. Okay, that's done. So, let's start advancing time. Let's actually go and look at Sol as we do this. Sol. I would like to do eight hours. Go, go, my pretty, go! Well, that's a lot of commercial traffic to and from Alpha Centauri, which is good. I want that commercial traffic to and from Alpha Centauri. It's uh, it's pretty important to me. Right, let's uh, let's start time going at a rate of a day a tick. We should start getting exploration messages soon. I hope I've sent one GSV to every single jump point. Luckily, there were six jump points with so six GSVs. Okay. Um, blah, 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 blah. Um, a mineral geology teams uh, complain that they can't find new deposits. Okay, that's fair enough. Uh, mineral shortage, fine. We've revealed Lalandi off of Proxima Centuri. Uh, it looks like it has something in it. Right, well, let's a uh, full look at everything that we can see. Right, let's uh, set that to just show, show. Ooh, that looks like there's quite a lot here, maybe. Yes, there is a lot of asteroids. And a lot of moons. Oh, holy crap, that is a lot of moons. And an asteroid of a colony cost? What? Uh, that, that's, that's not really an asteroid. It, this mass, it would be spherical almost. Like, it can hold an atmosphere. This, how is this even an asteroid? I mean, we'll set up a colony, because why not? I think it might actually be the only thing that's colonizable. I mean, there is a moon there. There's quite a few moons, actually. But the easiest thing to colonize is an asteroid. This is weird. This is really, really weird. Uh, but okay. Really strange. Uh, hopefully, got a lot of resources here. We won't know yet. Where's the jump point? Here. And uh, can I like refresh this page? Just so our colony shows up. Maybe it won't show up until we've actually got people landed. Can I just show asteroids temporarily? It'll be under, like, display to... There we go. Oh, wow, okay, that's, uh... Very dense in-system asteroids. Then they've got an asteroid belt there. Okay. How big is this place? 
it's not as big as it could be. I was thinking it would be massive. Um, but yeah, since we've got the asteroids relatively close to the jump point, like, I don't mind having my main base on that asteroid then. Weird, but I'll go with it. Really, actually, really weird. But I'll go with it. Okay, uh, I guess what we'll do is we will ask for uh, the standard infrastructure, which is I would like to demand a, ma uh, a mass driver, and then I would like to demand infrastructure. And uh, let's make it 5,000 infrastructure. I've got quite a lot floating around in my empire that just haven't been used. And sure, let's uh, start skipping ahead of time again. Alright, this is Glees. Very well. What is in Glees? Um, I wish I could get these to stay on show. I don't know how they do. Can I, like, is there a save button down here? No. So, it's going to keep forgetting my settings every time. There's a lot of moons. And some asteroids. Nothing particularly easy to colonize. We've got, you know, some fours, I believe. Well... They're the fours and fives are colored sort of a reddish orange, that sort of color. So we've got some of those. We've got some more extreme, like sevens and eights, which is the purple. But it's colonizable. Oh, hello. There we go. It's a binary, and the binary has ourselves a uh, a colonizable dwar uh, terrestrial, uh, terrestrial planet. There we go. I can speak. I has words. Uh, yeah, we'll add a colony to there as well. Hopefully that's pretty easy to get to. I don't know about that, actually. What? what? Wait, what? It's a hundred billion... Yeah, it's it's about a hundred billion kilometers away. Maybe, oh, 90 billion kilometers away. Okay, that's that's a long way. I might take back the whole we want to have this thing. Oh, that's... Ow. Do we even have, like, an intersystem jump point? Yeah, right, we've got intersystem jump points. To there, to there, to there. Please tell me we've got an L4 over here. Nope. You have to go here manually. Okay. I don't know if they'll search that. That is technically within the 100 billion kilometer range, so they might do a manual search of it. Because uh, they don't carry their order if it's like, oh, please check all the points for, you know, all the planets for minerals. And then they're like, oh, there's a planet over 100 billion kilometers away. We're going to ignore that. Uh, they won't do it. So I think they will still check that. If it's really good, I'll do something about it. But otherwise, I might just ignore that because that is so far away. Seriously, our military fleet would need to get refueled four times to get there. And that's just to get there. To come back, pfft, you can forget about it. Oh, hello. This is taking a long time to process. Mineral shortage prevented maintenance of all of the ships that just got back. Excellent. Well, since the fleet has got back, let us tell them that I would like to... Yeah, look at the ammo. Uh, why does the Joe suddenly have, like, 13,000% ammo? I mean, you know, I shouldn't be questioning it because I've got free ammo on board. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, unload survivors, add a replacement crew, unload ordnance, load ordnance, refuel, resupply. Uh, they might complain about that because they're in overhaul, though. I don't know. Or it's not possible because, yeah, they're undergoing maintenance. Oh, dear. Let us tell you to not do that, then. I have to remember to do that later. Uh, right, there was also the matter of fact that we had a team on a planet who have just finished a survey. There we go. Now, you can move teams around, as we explained previously, by teleporting them. Effectively, you can disband them and remake them at place, and they effectively teleport between planets instantly. Uh, we have a jump shuttle. However, 
instead of the tedious logistical process of telling them to move via jump shuttle, I'm going to do the whole create them at one place because I can just do that with a jump shuttle. It's just tedious to manage. So I'm just going to do the whole disband uh, reform. I don't mind doing it since I have the capability to do it normally. So I'm not like cheating effectively because effectively I could do exactly the same, just more tediously. So I'm going to start sending people to... Did we do Duranku? Have you done the geology survey here? Geology survey, does it say? No, we have not done the geology survey, okay. Well, let's get ourselves a team of geologists. And yes, I would like all of you. Create team. And of course you throw me an error for some reason. No idea where it is. But we've now got a geology team there. Here we go. New place, new place, new place. Uh, mineral shortage. Jump point. One has finished an overhaul. Okay, so it looks like it's an empty star system. It could be like asteroids that we aren't seeing. So, show, show. No, that looks like an empty star system. Two terrestrial planets, only one of which is colonizable, and even then, its colony cost is ridiculously high. So basically, we're going to call this a barren system and dead to us. We don't really care. Um, the Peter Taylor is probably best just sent home. No, no, we need to scan for uh, jump points. If we have a GV show up to do like a planetary survey, we could just send that home. Okay, now this is more interesting. GSV Tyler's completed orders. Did I not tell you to... GSV Tyler, GSV Tyler. No, I must have missed you. Oops, sorry. Let's get you to do a refuel at Colony or Tanker. Supply points and resupply. There we go. This looks like an interesting system. It's a binary again. Large moon, capable of taking on life. If we give it a bit of a colony bump. Binary. Ooh. Hello. Two terraformable planets. One with an ice sheet? Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to add colonies straight away to both of them. I have those terraformer ships now. So, just being like, yeah, screw it. We'll send a terraformer ship over and colonize the entire system isn't really a bother to me. It takes like a few years to terraform an entire system. So, the point is roughly moot. Um, hopefully, that will give us some nice resources or something. Simbri is unable to... Okay, so did you go to that dead system? Where are you? Did you not jump to the unexplored system that I told you to? Oh, hello. Ah, oh, mineral shortage again. Um, do, 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 nothing there that we need to know about. Okay, still in minimal shortage problems. Oh, well, this looks like a great one. Lakal. What you got for me, Lakal? I hate having to come back here. I don't know any way to make these stick. If someone knows, please tell me. There is nothing here. It's just a dead system. Okay. Okay. Okay, what is this system then? We've got a terrestrial planet there. Bunch of asteroids. Nitrogen, carbon dioxide, argon. I mean, we could set up a base there. I mean, temperature's a little bit on the low side. We'll take the nitrogen away. Maybe uh, add a bit of carbon dioxide. I mean, we'll probably just add carbon dioxide straight away. 
probably going to end up with a pressure of about 1.1, so it's going to be very Earth-like. But yeah, yeah, we could go for that. Anyone else we're exploring? Oh! More precursors and different types of ships. In fact, really low thermal ships, which makes me think that they might be fighters. Uh, we need to get out of here. Simbri, I need you to get out. Out, 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 out. You're expensive. Get out, now. That is off limits. Um, jump to Sol. Pop to Proxima Centuri and just go to Lalandi or yeah, go to Lalandi. Do do some surveys over there. I don't care. Get out of here. They've gone active sensors. Ten. Uh, 9 strength, 10 nuclear detonations. Cannon anti-ship missile. Okay, it looks like they were fighters. Or at least some sort of very small craft. So we managed to survive. May have spoken too soon. Come on, stop the auto turn because I need to tell Simbri to go home and get repaired. Uh, okay, more precursors. All I'm, I'm meaning at the moment, right, is precursors. No new races, no enemies, just pre well, precursors are enemies, but you get the point. Like, no, no full on enemy races. Uh, I would like you to jump to Alpha Centauri. And then Earth, refuel, resupply, all that jazz, begin overhaul. And I will turn off your main order for now. But what is there in the system? There was that one planet. So that's probably like some sort of precursor outpost. But we desperately need to increase our mining. Which also means we should probably start thinking about bigger... Um, what are they called? Oh, for the life of me, I cannot think what I'm trying to say. Uh, bigger cargo ships, because right now we actually have our very first tier of cargo ships doing some movement of minerals around for us, because you can move minerals in a system by using mass drivers. It's actually the most efficient way to do it, because you don't use fuel. Uh, and it's not limited by speed of the ships or whatever. But you can't do gate transfers by doing that. So what I currently have, if I bring this down, boop, is each system fires all its minerals to one planet, or asteroid. Then you have one cargo ship that goes, picks up minerals, comes back, picks up minerals, come back, picks up minerals, unload, picks up minerals, unload, picks up minerals, unload. Uh, but the problem is our cargo ships are so slow in some instances, we're actually getting some, like, minerals backing up. So if we check here, I think if we check, I don't know who's backing up. You're not backing up, mainly because you're not producing anything. You need to start producing some things. You're demanding mines, we don't have mines yet. Uh, yeah, there we go. We're stockpiling at Duranku. Not stockpiling there. Uh, I believe you are number two. We are stockpiling there. Only a little bit. And we are stockpiling there a little bit more, actually. We're still looking for the Corundum and Neutronium, particularly, and Galacite. Ooh. We, uh, we definitely need to increase our, uh, our expansion. I mean, it's our crazy shipbuilding that we've had recently for the new fleet that's really caused this. And we also need, unfortunately, to do some repairs. Uh, I'd like to repair. Shoals, 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 class three. It's going to take you almost a year if you're that badly damaged. Yeah. 
And what about the cruisers? 40 packs. Repair. Anwick. Cyclovex. Doesn't require repair. I really wish it said who required repair. I mean, you can check the required materials, but I don't know why people are showing up when they don't need repair at all. And I can't quite get to the explicit styles. Who does require repair? <sighs> completed overhaul, completed overhaul. Oh, Kvalen, you might want to get out of there. They also have thermal signature 1,000, so they've got some sort of, I'm guessing that's a FAC. Now, FAC is a fast attack craft. It's something that's 1,000 tons or lower, doesn't require a bridge, which means you save a little bit of space on them. Um, what's the Kvalen? Delta Pavonis. Yeah, get out of here. Standard transit. Then Alf Centauri. Then we can talk if you survive this. Excellent. Lots of sensors and stuff. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm, they're still suffering from the effects of transit. Oh dear. Get out of here. Kvalin's dead. I'm sorry, the 65 survivors are just not happening. We're not going for them. It's too much of a risk. I should have not, I should have told the Kavala not to go. I forgot. I forgot. And that's cost us. And they're camping the jump point. That means I can't move in. Because if I move in, we get blasted. Oh, the atmosphere of Alpha Centauri uh, 4 has become uh, provable. Excellent. Sweet. All right, let's have a look at that. Half Centauri A4. Oxygen. Yeah. 0.1 oxygen. Makes up 14.28% of the atmosphere. Well, I think it's time that we uh, we left then. You see, we've got quite a lot of people in the system now. Grand total. Not quite even rivaling Mars, but we're getting there. Mars, if I told you not to accept any more people, by the way, because stable, yeah. I didn't want to. I didn't want to just have like everybody just going everywhere, and that means that they'd only go to like a Mars and Luna because they were close. I wanted to actually force them to go to our system, so I've told everyone. I don't think... Yeah, I've told everyone but Io. No, I've told everyone in the uh, you, in the uh, uh, the Sol system to uh, be stable. Apart from Earth, which is a source. I could tell Mars to be a source. But I, I've decided to lay off for the moment. Uh, right. I think that means we can order ourselves. Uh, you're in Alpha Centauri. You're in Barnard Star. It was Alpha Centauri we just finished, wasn't it? Yeah. Which means the Craig Wright. Now, where do we send the Craig Wright next? Who do we need to terraform? Um, definitely on Delta Fonis. It's not. It's not happening. Uh, no. In fact, let's just bring up the galaxy map. The galaxy map's got an easy way of doing this. That is not the galaxy map. That is the galaxy map. Ah, yes, and of course we need to adjust this, so... Shift, drag... And... You'll probably be okay there? I'm trying to think there's a better place to do this. I guess, yeah, shift series up to here since it is an end node. That's an end node. That means I can then have you here, you here, you here, 
you there, and you there. Hey, that worked. First time. Save positions. 70 Obchiluchi Chi Chi. Four places there. Mm, yeah, sure. We'll hit you up. So bring me up 70 Op Chi Luchi. I'm going to call it 70 Op. Oh, is this the one that's really far away? Show. Show. Asteroid that's habitable. Really? Another asteroid that's habitable? This is weird. And a moon. And down here we have a moon. Planet. Okay. Let's have the asteroid as well, then. I'm trying to find it now in the list. Aha! You don't escape me. Uh, we'll add a colony. Right. Bring up the Craig. Right. Fuel 44%. You're going to have to jump back to Solemn Refuel, which is going to be horrific for our fuel. Do it anyway. Uh, and then we'll jump to... Proxima Centuri. Ross. 70. And then just get an orbit around, I guess, A, because it's closer. Move to. And now here's a good uh, time to explain something that you can do if you just are forgetful like me. If we go to 70, and then we go, right, what do we need to put here to make it breathable? Oh, well... We don't have anyone in orbit. We will soon. You can tell them to have, like, what to do. And even if they've got zero terraformers, they'll wait until terraformers get there, and then they'll enact the order. So, basically, it's, uh... You can, like, I'm gonna play this now, and it doesn't matter. Like, let's put in... Safe greenhouse gas. We've got the temperature is too low, so add gas, and you'll probably need to go to 0.3 minimum. You'll probably need to go more than that, but for now, 0.3. Then you. Asteroid. Surface temperature in Celsius. The surface temperature is actually fine. This is weird. It just means I'm going to have to put in uh, 0.1 of oxygen and then like 0.25 of nitrogen. So let's do nitrogen 0.25. You, temperature is too low, but we also need to get rid of the methane. So I'm going to say methane save atmosphere. Did I not hit save atmosphere before? I didn't. 0.3. Nitrogen. 0.25. There we go. Save that there. And that should take the methane down to zero. Because methane is deadly. Hydrogen. We need hydrogen on zero as well. Hydrogen. 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 There we go. Let's save that there. Put it on zero as well. And you can, in fact, give, like, the, uh, the, the orbital habitat or, you know, task force an order to terraform planets. And it will flip between all the planets doing all these jobs. Problem is, I don't want it to flip between all the planets doing all the jobs because I want to do a job at one planet, then do another job at the same planet, then do another job at the same planet. That planet's done, and then move on. Much more efficient in fuel. So, that is done. Still any issues with our ships. We're going to have issues with our ships for days to come. By days, I mean, like, literal days for, like, real life, not for the game. Probably, like, a lot more than days. We have a very big problem with resources right now. Um, we can't even maintain the ships we've got, let alone do anything fancy. Oh, God. And I was just about to colonize. This is an entirely new breed of alien. Okay. 
we probably should abandon our attempts to colonize this system. That might be a good idea. They might not like us trying to colonize their home system. Okay, this... This to me looks like a proper alien race. Now, I can't be certain, but it could well be a proper alien race, which means that we need to get the hell out of here. And we need to start thinking about going possibly on the offensive, depending on what we want to do. Certainly, we need to be prepared to go on the offensive if they come for us. I don't know what their disposition is yet. I don't know if they're going to be, you know, amiable. I don't know anything. So we're going to start talking to them. We're going to start doing all that jazz. We're going to pull out. We're going to cancel our colonies because I don't want to piss them off by saying, yeah, this planet's mine. Uh, by the way, it happens to be home planet, whatever. Um... And we're going to cancel the order for the orbital habitat to come and terraform their home because they probably won't like that. That would probably piss them off. I've been interested. I'm going to end the episode here. I'm going to talk to them next time. These are a completely different race. They are not the precursor uh, X95 Dash Gamer aliens. These guys. Well, we'll name them next time. But uh, they look they look like a proper alien race to me, a full-on alien race. I'm looking forward to finding out how this will go. Have an Elysium and stay shiny.